As we start a new month today, we close out our first month of our Road Warrior coverage with Scott Harrison. And man, you at home have been really responding well to this, really wanting to know where Scott's going to be headed next, really trying to help him out where he should go next because you've seen projects ongoing. Sure. You want to know what's up. And the response, again, has been fantastic. And we want to know, too, we've received 65 comments and all from viewers, all kinds of questions about various projects and road conditions in their neck of the woods. The Road Warrior, Scott Harrison, is live in South Pueblo this morning. He's at the intersection of Prairie and O'Neill Avenues with more on a project there. Scott, good morning. Good morning again, everyone, here on the south side of Pueblo. We're here to preview the completion of a project. You can see it behind me here at this intersection. It combines several elements. There's new traffic signals here. There's a new pedestrian crosswalk to replace an older one that was a little bit farther down the street. There's also new repaving here and concrete work also. And that's going to benefit drivers and pedestrians. We also want to report on what we've learned in the four weeks of the Road Warrior coverage that we brought you. Of the 65 responses we've received, around a third of them, 21, expressed paving problems or needs. We told you about one of them, South Nevada Avenue in Colorado Springs, from I-25 to Fort Carson's main gate on Highway 115. And in the process of covering that, we learned that CDOT already has plans to repave that stretch next year. We also got 11 emails relating to pothole complaints that continue to be a big concern from viewers. Remember to make sure that you're reporting pothole or paving questions to your local government, whether that's your city or town, whether it's your county, or whether it's CDOT, the Colorado Department of Transportation, because they can't repair damage if they don't know about it, and a lot of their responses are based on feedback from the public, so bear that in mind. Also, when you contact us, bear in mind that it can take a while to find the, the officials, the right officials, who can respond to the questions and concerns that you have. So remember that also. I know a lot of people want, you know, immediate answers as fast as possible, but it just realistically that just doesn't always happen. And back here in Pueblo, we've also found out since we've been here this morning, we did get an email from someone who complained about Northern Avenue and the rough condition there. So later this morning, we're going to be talking with Pueblo's public works director about this new project and maybe about that one that the viewer just called in. So remember, another big thing about this particular project is it's kind of an emphasis on traffic and pedestrian safety, and that has been, as you know, a big focus lately. We are live on the south side of Pueblo this morning. I'm the Road Warrior, Scott Harrison for KRDO 13. All right, Scott, thanks so much. And again, we want to hear from you. Scott has been inundated with tips and ideas and problem areas, and he's bringing those to city and county leaders and uh, construction crews. Again, no, we know a lot of these projects take time, cost money. So again, give us some time as we get back to your uh, concerns and questions. And again, Scott will take those to officials. But you can email him at roadwarrior at krdo.com.